Hey everyone, Jarek and Mookie here for some more Call of Duty 4. This time I'm running with the AK, but I'm running suppressed. I don't really see a whole lot of people running a suppressed AK. As I mentioned in a previous video, I only do it just because I dislike the huge muzzle flash on the AK. I find that it makes me lose my target very quickly. See, okay, now this is a uh, this is a stealth class I would build, personally. Frag times three, steady aim. Holy personally, life. I wouldn't say this is a stealth build unless you have UAV jammer. Because well, then yeah, stealth it's not goes totally out the stealth. It's not entirely stealth, but it's stealthy enough, if that makes sense. Because I'm not going to give up stopping power for a UAV jammer, personally. Unless you're running... See, the only time it kind of makes sense is if you're using an SMG, because then you need to get up close to people anyway, and... Yeah, I, mean, I still prefer to run stopping power, and there's nothing else that's as powerful as stopping power. Arguably, maybe Juggernaut, but then you feel like a complete asshole. Juggernaut just... <laughs> It, it, Juggernaut just makes me angry. Like I'm not. There lie. are a lot of things in this game that make me angry. It's one of those games where it's like you're just that abusive wife that just goes keeps going back to it. Yeah, exactly. Like I mentioned in the previous video, 64 player kill house servers. The <laughs> why? grind. The Still, pain. why? That's not worth. Because, okay, okay. So the thing was, I had originally had all of the golden weapons on my PC version, and. uh I reinstalled my operating system, and my save doesn't carry over, apparently. I don't know if there's a way to actually get it to carry over. So I said, you know what, I want those fucking golden weapons back. I earned them, so I just grinded in freaking Kill House for like a week. <laughs> until I got everything back. Painful, but... Gotta do what you gotta do. I, I don't even use the golden weapons. So like, with the AK, I have skins for it. But I just prefer the look of the, like, the original AK with the wood stock and the wood grip. Yeah, I guess. I guess it's kind of cool. But I'm gonna be over here, like, with my shimmery gold-ass friggin' bling-bling. Drinking your Mountain Doritos. My Mountain Doritos. My grape <laughs> just, juice. <laughs> That's just, like, blending Mountain Dew and Doritos together. I've heard people do that, and it, it doesn't sound appealing at all. No, it really doesn't. Uh, but I wanted to clarify, so in a few videos ago, I was I made a whole video talking about like what's better, faster kill times or slow kill times. That's You're probably groaning even hearing it, because like, it's such a common argument that both sides that argue against the other side is so wrong in my mind. Like Everyone takes this extreme stance of like the other side takes no skill because my mind understands this. It honestly you know? just depends on how the game is built, like, to be honest. That too, and that was the point I was going to make. I still have people in that video, and the too long didn't read of that video essentially was, neither takes more skill than the other, they just take a different kind of skill. No, absolutely. Like, some people argue Halo 1 takes more skill than Halo 2, and I can see that And I argument. would argue with that too, honestly. I, I would say that's the case, but people are going to argue the other way around. Yeah, because exactly. Because they're just they're so different. Say... They're, they're completely different games. Like, I, I hate to keep coming back to Halo as an example, but, you know, it's it's my freaking passion, bruh. But, um, like, Halo 1 had more, like, aiming skill and all of this stuff, and Halo 2 had, like, all this auto-aim and hit-scan weapons and slower kill times, and it was more of a strategy game than an actual, like, shooting game, I guess? Like, even that I wouldn't say that. Even that I wouldn't say that either, because it's, like... I would say faster kill times is a much more mental game, and there's a lot more strategy in that way, whereas longer kill times becomes more about out-strafing and out-shooting your opponent. Well, I guess teamwork for Halo 2 is more important, like knowing where your team yes, is. Yes, there's, that's, there's that them. too. I made the yes. thing talking about, like, map control is prevalent in both ways, in both fast and slow kill times, but in very different ways. When it comes to fast yes. kill times, usually map control isn't finding the power position and trying to lock down the map, it's usually finding the best routes throughout the map and the best way to flank the opponent and get the drop on them. Because if you're shooting someone in the back with fast kill times, there's virtually no chance they're going to do anything to you. But when it comes to yeah, long exactly. kill times, that doesn't exactly always work. If someone has a better position, you shoot them in the back, whatever, you're still not favored. Yeah, COD 4 is... Ah, oh, jeez, COD 4 is just kind of weird. I, I love it, I acknowledge its flaws, but I love it and I would play it any day, like regardless of like the balancing issues and all this shit. Just because I feel like the game rewards uh, aim like really well, to be honest, but that's just me. Uh, I would say Black Ops 1 and 2 reward everything better in every way possible. <laughs> Aside yeah, from it being I a more balanced game, the, the biggest complaint I've always had about Infinity Ward Call of Duty is 
not even just the perks. Like, sure, the perks give me issues. I disagree fundamentally with how all the perks are done in Call of Duty 4, especially Stop and Power and Juggernaut, and how Perk mm -hmm. 2 is essentially the best perk class, and all the other perks are just kind of there. But yeah. when it comes to Black Ops, the thing that really gets me into it is that the maps are so much better. I don't like any of Infinity Ward's maps because a lot of them are just sort of designed in this most in the most random ass way. You can't really figure out the best like you can't predict enemy movements as well as you can in a Treyarch design map. Because of the way Treyarch designs stuff is they always take this three lane approach. Yeah, they so, always do. That's one thing I've definitely noticed. Whereas you look like, at the mini map here in freaking COD 4 and it's like what's happening? Like uh, what's the map? Crash, where you can get on top of the building and just freaking snipe people? Like That's one of the few maps I actually legitimately do like. And this is another one of the maps that I am okay with. And I feel no, like those Crash, two maps... I love Crash. But like, yeah, there's, a, the there's a blatant power position on that map, for sure. Which is inside I mean, that three-story. Yeah, um, but at the same time, I feel like that's that's an easier position to just ignore and stay away from. Yeah, absolutely. So, like, you don't have to fight the people up there. You can if you want to, but it's not necessary. Dude, that's a Call of Duty problem. Someone keeps <laughs> killing you from a specific spot, and that player always goes back to the person camping in that spot and dies. Over and over. And the next thing you know, now the opposite team has a helicopter because your idiot teammate keeps dying to the same person. <laughs> it's like you're feeding them points and not helping at all. Oh my god, can I just talk about the kill streaks for a second? So, okay. Kill streaks in COD 1, I. or er, COD 1, listen to me. Modern Warfare 1, I actually found kind of annoying because it rewards players who are already doing well. And, like, when you get a helicopter, it's like, okay, I get free kills and all this stuff. And I thought, like, you know, this is kind of imbalanced. And then Modern Warfare 2 comes along. You just finished the game. I might have to finish this the next video, but I'll try to make it quick. Modern Warfare 2 comes along. You get 30 kills. You get a freaking nuke, and you win the game. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I'll talk more about that next video because there's a lot I can say on that. But oh, for yes. now, enjoy some mediocre, at best, AK footage. I got a helicopter with it and just kind of called it good and just wanted to throw it up there. So uh, enjoy it if you really want to. Otherwise, this footage sucks.